morning, everybody, and welcome to Pre-K Discovery. Miss Barb here. How are you today? I am so excited to get started, but first we need to do the calendar. So let's look at our calendar. It's still the month of March, M-A-R-C-H, March, and we need to change the season because it isn't winter anymore. Does anybody know what season it is? Well, let's see what it is. It is, let's see, is it fall? or autumn, it is not autumn. Is it summer? Well, it's not summer yet. So that must mean that it is spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, it's spring. And I'm so excited because that means that it's just gonna get nicer and it's gonna get longer days and you guys will get to play outside more and more. All right, so let's see what day of the week it is. Well, let's sing the song, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it's Tuesday because it's pre-K discovery. So it is Tuesday, and let's count to see what number this is. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Today is the twenty-third day of March, and it's still twenty twenty-one. Because this is only the third month, so we are just beginning this year. Alright. So our letter for the day is the letter L the letter L because L is for lunch, L-U-N-C-H. And who doesn't love lunch? Well, I like lunch because sometimes my belly gets all grumbly and I'm really hungry, so I can't wait to eat lunch. And to make a letter L is simply just a letter down and a line across, down and across. That's a capital L. And a lowercase L is just a line down. So that is our letter for today. And the letter L says L, L like as in love, lunch, ladder, and later. So those are all L words because they say L at the beginning. All right, so I picked out a book for us to read today, and it's not exactly about lunch, but it is about eating. And we're going to talk more about lunch later when we make a healthy lunch. So the book we're reading today is called Do Cows Eat Cake? Well, I like to eat cake, and I bet you like to eat cake, but do cows like to eat cake? So let's see what cows do eat. Do cows eat cake? It says, no, cows eat grass. It says, cows graze on grass in green meadows. They also eat clover, peas, corn, and hay. Cows chew and swallow their food, and then they bring it up later to chew it some more. This partially chewed food is called a cud. Do sharks eat cake? Hmm, I bet if they had the chance they could. No, sharks eat fish. Sharks are giant ocean fish that eat smaller fish. Sharks have five to 15 rows of sharp teeth that can bite through bone. Ooh, that's a lot of teeth to keep clean. I wonder how long it takes a shark to brush his teeth. It says, do giraffes eat cake? Hmm, I don't know, do they? No, giraffes eat leaves. Giraffes lift their long necks into the branches of the tall trees, and they nibble leaves that other animals cannot reach. A giraffe's tongue can slip between thorny branches and twist around each tasty bud. Hmm, could you imagine that? It says, do monkeys eat cake? Huh, do they? I bet monkeys do. Let's see. No, it says monkeys eat mangoes. It says monkeys scramble up fruit trees to pluck sweet mangoes and tear them open. Monkeys also eat leaves and flowers. A frog, a lizard, a bat, and a bug might become a monkey's meals. Well, it seems like monkeys aren't very particular, are they? Do rabbits eat cake? I know for certain that rabbits do not eat cake. It says no, rabbits eat carrots. Well, you know what? That's not correct either. It says, rabbits and bunnies eat carrots as a special treat. Now that is correct. It says, wild rabbits mostly eat green leafy plants. 
In winter, when green leaves are scarce, hungry rabbits will eat twigs and tree bark. Rabbits that live in our houses, domestic rabbits, they eat hay and they eat some pellets and they eat very little carrots. Too much sugar for them. It says, do whales eat cake? Huh, I don't know. No, it says whales eat squid. Ew. It says orca whales are good hunters. Besides squiggly squid, orcas eat fish, turtles, seals, and they even eat seabirds when they can catch them. It says, do ant eaters eat cake? Well, I don't know. Their name says ant eater, so I'm going to assume they don't eat cake. Let's see what they eat. <gasps> no, it says ant eaters eat ants. It says anteaters rip open anthills with their sharp claws. Their long, sticky tongues dart out and snatch up the scurrying ants. It says that anteaters' wiggling tongue can worm its way deep into ant tunnels and find even more food. Do pandas eat cake? I don't know. I think they don't. <gasps> it says no. It says pandas eat bamboo. Pandas have special front paws with bony thumbs, and these thumbs are good for gripping stiff bamboo stems. Powerful panda jaws and teeth crunch through the stems and chew the tough roots. It says, do raccoons eat cake? You know, I feel like raccoons will eat anything, but let's see. It says, no, raccoons eat berries. It says, raccoons bramble through berry bushes, picking berries with their hand-like paws. They also eat seeds, nut, eggs, and fruit. Raccoons have a great sense of touch, and they can find fish, frogs, crayfish by reaching into rivers and streams. Hmm. Do kids eat cake? Do you eat cake? Let's see. It says yes. Kids eat cake. Kids eat vegetables and bread, and kids eat berries and meat, and kids eat a lot of the same food that animals eat. Kids eat food that is broiled, boiled, or baked. And on special day, kids eat plenty of cake. It says what animals eat. It says animals eat soft things, berries, mangoes, grass. Um, some animals eat hard things like bamboo and crunchy carrots. Animals eat things that wiggle and move like fish and squid and crawly ants. And animals have food that grow up really high, like the tasty leaves on the tall, tall trees. So animals don't eat cake, but we do. And especially on a special occasion, we get to eat cake like our birthday. Now that's a day to eat cake or anyone else's birthday too. You know what? Miss Barb says if you want to eat cake and you want to feel special, then eat the cake. But make sure you have a healthy diet too because that's what we're going to talk about in a little bit. All right, so we're going to talk about our quick words real quick because they are quick words. So do you remember this quick word? This is the quick word, the. And you'll see this in a lot of books. And this is the quick word, and. And you'll see this in a lot of books also. This is the word, I. And this is you. And our last quick word of the day is, let me see what it is. Is. The quick word is, is. And these are all quick words that you will see in your books. Is. You, I, and, and most importantly, the, all quick words. All right, so give Miss Barb a few minutes, and I will be right back, and we're going to talk about making a healthy lunch. I told you I'd be right back. I've never gone very long, and it doesn't take me that long to set up, does it? It's like that. So let's talk about lunch. Well, every day we eat lunch. If you're in school or preschool, I'm sure that you get lunch while you're there. Um, Miss Barb eats lunch, tries to eat a healthy lunch every day. So in order for us to decide what's a healthy lunch, Miss Barb has made a lunch box checklist. And you can see that it has pictures of the different food areas that we need to eat foods from, and it has different choices in it. So for example, it says to pick one from each category, mix and match. So fruits and vegetables, and it says bananas, apples, blueberries, oranges, pineapple, cantaloupe, strawberries, and watermelon, all delicious fruits. And vegetables are important too. Tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, celery, cucumber, peppers, and peas. And proteins are our meats and our eggs, and some of you might like tofu. Peanut butter is a good protein. 
and nuts. And starches are our breads and grains. So crackers and bread for our sandwich or um, pasta. And then there's dairy, which is our cheeses, milks, and our yogurts. So with my checklist, what I would do is I would pick one from each group, and that's what I would pack in my lunch. And every day I would change it and make it a variety so that I'm not eating the same foods every single day. So I went to the market to buy some stuff, and we need to decide if it is a healthy food or if it is not a healthy food. So this is my basket that we're going to put the food into, if it fits in there. All right, so when I went to the market, I bought a banana. Is a banana a good choice? Yes, this is a fruit. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I bought some broccoli. Who likes broccoli? Well, I like broccoli, so that is a good thing. Um, what else is in my basket? Let's see. Oh, I have a roll. This looks like a good roll. I'll keep that because that's a grain and that fills in my thing. Let's see. Oh, I bought some cheese. So this looks like some Swiss cheese. It's got some holes in it. Put that in my basket. Let's see what else did Ms. Barr buy. She bought a tomato. Tomatoes are good. What else do I have? An orange. Oranges are sweet and juicy. That's a fruit. Let's see. Oh, I got a chicken leg. Well, this is a chicken leg that is fried, so it's not the greatest choice of chicken leg, but it's still a protein, so it's okay. We're going to keep that one because we need a protein. What else do we have here? We have, this looks like a steak. I don't know how many of you have taken steak in your lunch, but Miss Barb has some steak. And let's see what else I have. I have, oh, I have watermelon. Mmm, sweet and juicy. I have a green pepper. I like green peppers. I like to dip them in ranch. Do you like to dip yours in ranch? That's a good healthy choice. Uh, a green apple. Uh, let's see, I got some grapes, the purple grapes. Those are good fruit. Uh, there's a waffle in my basket. I mean, I'm sure that some waffles are better than other waffles. We're going to say this is a whole grain waffle and it's a good choice. So we could eat a waffle. Uh, let's see what else I have. I have an onion. I don't know that an onion fits in any of these things. I mean, onions add flavor to things, but I don't know if we would just eat an onion. So we'll put that one back in the basket. But we like corn, right? Corn is good. I like corn on the cob. Uh, I have a lemon. I don't know that a lemon is something that you just straight up eat, but you can put it in and make some, lemon, some um, lemonade. That would make it good. Not too much sugar though. Oh, and the last one I have is a strawberry. Strawberries are a very good choice. They're sweet and they're full of vitamin C and they're good for you. So these are all just some choices of things that we can put in our lunch. So Miss Barb wants you, the next time you sit down to lunch, to think about the groups of foods and if you have something from every group. The only thing Miss Barb didn't have in here, oh, I did have dairy. I was gonna say I had the cheese, is that I don't have any dairy in here. So let's not forget, we have our vegetables, so that would be our green pepper. And we have our fruits, which would be our apple. We have our starches, which would be our roll and our waffle. We have our proteins, which would be our meat, which would be our chicken leg, and our piece of steak, which looks underdone. And our last one would be our dairy, which would be our cheese. So we have something from all of the food groups. So this is how we build a healthy lunch. And we don't have to eat like the cow did in the story and eat grass and stuff. So, so make good choices because all these foods will give you energy so that you can go out throughout your day. And good exercise helps you too. So this is Miss Barb saying goodbye. Have a great day and I will see you again next week.